guys, it's your girl T Speaks here and I am back with yet another video. Today's video is going to be a little different from my typical weekly vlogs. If you haven't checked them out already, make sure you check them out because they be lit, girl. They be lit, lit. Anyway, so today we're going to be doing a different type of video. We're going to be doing um, a DIY budget friendly photo shoot now if you don't know already if you don't already know my baby boy is turning the big one this month i was so excited y'all i'm more excited for his birthday than i ever was for mine it's crazy i know but yeah we're gonna celebrate it we're gonna do it big i don't care what anybody says it's my baby first birthday we're gonna do it big when i say big <laughs> we're gonna do it big but we're gonna do it moderately reasonably and on a budget so um we're gonna be doing a at home DIY photo shoot so um, we're going to be doing the Sesame Street theme so the Sesame Street theme is because my son loves if you know my son if you're around him huh, yeah he's a Sesame Street watcher lover he sees Elmo he sees Big Bird he goes crazy so yes we're going to be doing Sesame Street themes um, I've been running around getting a lot of different um, props and different outfits and shoes my baby is going to be ready to go but before we even get to that part yet, um, I just wanted to come in and introduce this small little vlog to you guys, and I hope you guys enjoy it. We're going to be um, doing a little bit more shopping. RJ is now, he's um, he's with my mom uh, for today, so what we're going to be doing is try to get everything prepared and set up before he gets home, and once he gets home, of course, you guys are going to be with me the whole way. He's going, we're going to go ahead and get things set up, purchase the final things that we need to purchase, and um, go ahead and get things started to get set up, because if you know, if you know, if you have a baby, especially under one, the likelihood of you shopping, getting a photo shoot together, and actually doing it, baby, you're going to be in mayhem, pure mayhem, and it's September. We don't have time for mayhem, okay? That was back in May. Anyway, so... <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I got already and um, we're going to go ahead and run out today and get a couple more supplies. We've got a couple more things we need to get. Um, I'm trying to not to be a perfectionist, but I want it perfect. Um, I have a, quite a few different um, Pinterest and Etsy and TikToks that I've looked at and I've kind of collaborated all of what I like into one, but I don't want it to look too junky or messy. So um, I'm going to put everything together. I'm going to come back and show you guys and we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm so excited. I hope you guys are too and definitely feel free to take any notes. I'm going to do my best to drop any links down or any stores that I've used. Any inspiration, I'm trying to drop that down below in the comment section so it'll be easy if you want an easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl. And if you want to use them, feel free and go ahead and make your baby party, you know, not party, photo shoot lit, okay? Lit. Because nobody don't have time to be doing no photographers, canceling on you, charging you a skillion dollars. Baby, we're going to do this at home. If you know, then you know, okay? I'll be back. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're going to start with the background. So I have this background. I got it from Party City. There's actually like three pieces of this um, background that go that came with it. So basically, it's just a um, street lamp, which we call, of course, you know, if you watch Sesame Street, they are known for having their street lamp because it's on the street. And there's, like I said, three or four different, three or four panels of the same. As you can see, there's one under here of the same um, background. So we, that's a potential one. My issue with this one. Um, is I don't want it to look cheap, so we may or may not use it. We'll use it. It came in a pack with a bunch of other things, so we may or may not use it, but it's here if we need it for our um, for another option. Now, this is the background that I think I really want to use. This is a brick background. I got this from Amazon. I think it was about, don't quote me on this, maybe 12 or 13 bucks, and it has the brick on it. Now, a lot of most of the like the TikToks that I saw and the, even the Pinterest um, photos that I saw, most people use the brick background and they just kind of build um, the Sesame Street aesthetics with the different props that, that they had. So I'm most likely to be using this because, like I said, it's a lot thicker and it just seems more aesthetically pleasing than the plastic um, brick wall with the light on it now if i have, if there was a way for me to get that light and put it with this that'd be perfect chef's kiss however like i said we have options so we're gonna basically put them up and see what works best and we'll go with it from there i also purchased um this floor mat background for the for the floor so basically it just looks like while he's sitting when he's sitting down he's going to be sitting on this and it looks like you know there's a hardwood floor just 
for aesthetic purposes only. It's pretty long. I want to say this one was about maybe, it was under like 15 bucks. That's all I can remember. Like I said, I'll link it below so you guys will be able to get the exact price or whatever. Um, but yeah, I did want that. So he'll be able to sit on this and that'll look like the floor and then you'll have either one of these backgrounds. Moving right along. So let's get a little closer. So here are the props that I have thus far for the party. Like I said, I'm not done. Um, this is just kind of where I'm at right now. And of course we're gonna build on it and I'll be out today getting some more items. So <clears throat> number one, this is his outfit. So if you watch any of my vlogs, which I highly suggest you do because you know, you'll be able to get a lot more background of um, just us and what we're doing and how things are going. But anyway, so this is RJ's outfit that he's going to be wearing in this photo shoot. And we're also going to wear this at the party. So that's why I got it because I'm like, he'll be able to get two uses out of it. One for the photo shoot, one for the party. I feel like I got, you know, my money's worth. <laughs> super, super cute. It's a, this is a 3T. Yes, I said it 3T. He's 11 months, but he can fit this pretty comfortably. He's pretty tall so what we'll do is um, we can always roll up the ends to this and let me show you guys the back the back is just a paint splatter like I said we've tried it on so it fits in pretty good so he will be wearing that um, I have a shirt ordered actually shirts coming in so we're making waiting on them to be made they're gonna be handmade as well so he's gonna put a shirt on under that for the photo purposes um, we'll just put a, a regular shirt underneath because you really won't see it because, you know, it's overalls. Moving right along here, here are his shoes. These shoes I got from Kids Foot Locker. These are Vans. And they go perfectly with this outfit. These are a size, let me see here. Yeah. Bear with me. Six. If you guys can see that those are a size six. Six C to be specific. Um, now these are some props here we're going to be using. We have Elmo and we have Cookie Monster. We're going to incorporate those in the photos. Not quite sure. I have an idea for um, Cookie Monster. Elmo. I wanted to get at least more than two more characters, specifically Big Bird, but of course they did not have them. I got these from Walmart for six eighty eight, dollars um, but they only had these two characters. So I'm definitely going to look around sometime today and see if I can find at least Big Bird. Cause I, I got this hat. It's a reversible bucket hat. So it has this side and then it has this side. Honestly, he can work either side and it would be perfect. Um, it's just all going to come down to what looks best in his pictures. So I may switch it up um, in between the photos just to get an idea. I got this hat from Amazon. I believe it was 12 bucks. So he's going to be able to wear that. Um, I got him the number one. This one, it illuminates. And I think there's a switch a little bit here. Illuminates and it has batteries. So I'm definitely going to grab some batteries today. Again, I'm going to try to get everything I can get done. While he's not home, so we can have everything set up and ready to go. So, yes, that is another one. And moving right along here, this is a little stand. It says one, and I guess you slide this wood into here, and it stands up, and then you have number one. Sticking with the one thing, these here are boxes. These boxes, I mean, what's wrong with my lighting? Hold on. Okay. Sorry guys, the lighting had changed and I did not like that. So these boxes here are clear boxes, clear white boxes and the, the letters are, they count out the number one. These are for, um, you put balloons, you blow balloons up and you fill them up, the different color balloons inside the clear boxes and it says one. Down the boxes, there are about three boxes in there. I got that from Amazon. Moving right along here. Let's see, we can start up here. So this here is a 12 month photo garland. I got that from Party City. So you put a picture um, of the baby in there from month one up to month 12. So we're gonna use that. We're gonna get some W's out of that. We're gonna use that for likely the photo shoot, 
but more um, along the along the lines of the party. So I have some cutouts here. I have Oscar the Grouch. I have Elmo. These came in a package um, with that background I showed you guys. And um, yeah, the Camping Party City. So we're gonna go ahead and head out and go get some more items. I'll be back to bring you guys with me. Some balloons, so I'm gonna get. I think I'm gonna get these. They have the colors we need. And there's 20 in there, so we should be more than enough. And let me think. Is there anything else I could use? I mean, it's scarce, y'all. Scarce. This is baby shower stuff. I don't see any other birthday stuff. Mm. Nothing so far. So, we'll keep it moving. So, yeah, I just found this. Um, it goes nothing with this party thing or anything, but it's that's my street. And he'll use it for something. So, I just put it in the car. I mean, it's a dollar. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm in the arts and crafts section. I'm just checking to see if there's anything that I could use or I may need, but hmm, I think I'm gonna leave that part for the party because I don't really see anything. I do want to get a crate though for his to put his props on, but I'm not really seeing a crate. Like if I could find something like this. <clears throat> on a larger scale, that would be perfect, but I'm not really seeing much of that here. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and head out and hit the next store. So, went to Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree was a bust. They only had like a beach ball, a Sesame Street beach ball. It was literally out. Oscar the Grouch. I got it though. We're not using it for the photo shoot, but um, yeah. My baby is... A swimmer so he definitely will be able to get some use out of that um we're gonna go into dollar general i don't know if you guys can see we're gonna go ahead into dollar general and see what they have um it's worth a try i was actually headed to go to like an arts and crafts store so i can go ahead and try to find like that crate that i was telling you guys about or at least a stuffed animal or something or walmart for a stuffed animal or maybe target but um dollar general was on my way to where i needed to be so I said, let me stop in since I'm already here and um, we'll go in and hopefully they have some good stuff. I really don't need a bunch of more stuff, things, but I'm just checking them out while I... So Dollar General is pretty scarce, but I'm on the toy aisle because you never know what you may see. Oh, hold on. So this is what you do. Let me see. Um, these are just, um, I don't know what these are. Let me see. Let's have a bunch. I was like, let me see what this is. Um, they're two dollars and fifty cents, whatever they are. Looks like they're just little statues. Eh, I think we're gonna pass. I don't really need that. Looks like they have different characters, but I don't really need that. Don't see much in here. And it's voice. So we're gonna keep it moving. Anything here? This is cool. What is this? He likes this. He doesn't need any more toys. But... Orange! Blue! Two! How much is it? It's cool, but RJ doesn't need any more toys. He has no room for the toys that he has. 
Anyways, I'm gonna head out. I don't see anything. I know I said I was leaving, but I just walked down the other toy side and birthday side, and I found this balloon art kit. It's only six dollars. It comes with 15 balloons. It looks like a beach color. And oh no, 15 balloons in different sizes, and it also has a hand shape. I'm gonna get this because I've been wanting to do one, but I was afraid that I wouldn't be able to do it right. So we're gonna try it out. Six bucks, can't go wrong. And they have more, so yeah. We can we can definitely use this for the baby, not baby shower, the baby shower, y'all. <laughs> Birthday photo shoot. So I'm gonna get it. If I like it, I may end up doing it for the party. Who knows? Right, so I have made it to Walmart and I was able to find some wood crates. And the wood crates are gonna come in handy for when we do um, the photo shoot because he can sit so basically sit on this or you can put you can put some props on this so these the bigger ones are $19.97 and the small ones are $10.97 so I got a small one and I got a large one now they didn't have any Sesame Street stuff over at the Sesame Street. It didn't have the Sesame Street stuff in the toy section, but this is going to definitely work. So I'm going to get these and then we're going to go to one more store and see if they have any more stuffed animals and then we can start setting up for the shoot. To make the people say yeah, yeah, yeah. I can put you in a log cabin somewhere in Aspen. Girl, ain't nothing to paint, ain't tricking. If you got it, what you asking for? Put you in a mansion somewhere in Wisconsin. Like I said, ain't nothing to the pain. We can change that last name. What's happening? Cause you look so good Tell me why you wanna work here I put you on the front page of a King magazine But you gon' get yourself hurt here Hey, baby, I bought you in the back just to have a conversation I really think you need some ventilation Let's talk about you and me Oh, I can't believe it Ooh, ooh, she all on me, on me Man, man, I think she want me Want me. Nah, I can't even lonely. Nah, ooh, I can't believe it. Ooh, ooh, she all on me, on me, me, me. I think she want me, want me. Nah, I can't even lonely. Nah, and you don't understand. She made the people say yeah. She made the people say yeah, yeah Girl, ain't nothing to the pain, ain't tricking If you got it, what you asking for? Put you in a mansion Somewhere in Wisconsin Like I said, ain't nothing to the pain We can change the last night So this is what we gotten so far um, I need to put the background up um, I did not have any thumbtacks or any glue or tape to put them up, so I gotta run to the store and get something to hang the background, but uh, so far this is where we're at. RJ has moved some stuff around, so it might look a little disheveled, but this is essentially what I wanted. Um, everything else is pretty much together. I gotta get cookies. I'm gonna put some cookies, some chocolate chip cookies over there where Cookie Monster is. So, um... I'm going to put him inside of the cookie jar, put some cookies in there, but this is what we're getting so far. i got to fix the floor, and then um, I also have, like I said, the backgrounds, and I have to get RJ dressed to put him, so I'll probably get that tomorrow, and then, <laughs> and then we'll be ready to go, so I just want to show you guys where we are at right. so far. My mom came over to help me out. I do have some balloons here. Um, I was trying to make... A balloon arch, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that because I don't know if I'm gonna have to. But yeah, we're gonna try. Anyways, we'll be back.
So that once we do get started with the photos, we don't have um, the props outside of the brick wall. But this is what we're looking at. And I'm also going to try to move this couch down a little bit because I just want the focus to be here. So I got the balloons here. I was going to do a balloon arch, but listen, <clears throat> it's just not going to happen. <laughs> but this is what we got. So I'm going to get a little closer so you guys can see. everything finally oh and this here is supposed to be up so let me turn that on okay there we go now we have the full effect Pinky monster oscar the grouch um i'm gonna play around a little bit with those um crates I just put them like that for now and then of course I just put this outfit here just so I can get give y'all the full effect <laughs> so I'm tired now so we're not gonna do the pictures now we're likely gonna do them in the morning so we'll be back with the finished product and of course I'm gonna show you guys the photos that I get hope you like hope you enjoy stay tuned I'm a little bit of a 